maybe one of the dopest 700s super unique not too many people have this sneaker so i'm gonna give y'all a detailed look of this 700 boost yeah don't know, don't know the next time we're gonna see are they gonna change the name of this thing from a from a 700 it's not gonna be a 700 anymore is this one day gonna become like a uh, uh, an adidas v2 it might be an adidas v2 in the near future i don't know but we'll look at the colorway after we look at the back of this box as you can see yeezy boost 700 made by adidas so i wonder if they just gonna make this the boost 700 made by adidas i'm not sure you know that's probably one of the smartest things to me i love the yeezys i love the yeezys for one reason because the yeezys they don't really have too much branding however it makes it super easy and simple for this shoe to always be known to people who knew when yeezy and adidas had a collab but for people who knew and for people who who get on board with adidas and this sneaker once they give it whatever the new name is going to be i don't think that they will be uh considering this at all to be a yeezy anyway as you can see these are the v2s mauve 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 adidas boost 700 made by adidas mauve 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 personal size personal size personal size let's open this thing up i literally thought that was going to be a lot easier if i just did it with one hand but man that was a horrible idea anyway as you see this is the mauve not sure if y'all ever seen this colorway not too many people prefer this colorway but i think it's super dope all the textures of a 700 v2 you can already tell the texture on this is amazing This is a reflective material right there inside of these holes. You clearly see that you got that nice gum bottom. You know, it's all about branding, right? So this outsole, nothing on the bottom of this outsole at all says Yeezy. Same thing with the side of this shoe. Now you you can tell, nice piece of suede. Look at the look at the the stroke and look at the stroke. Look at the stroke in that color change and everything I'm thinking this is like a new book actually that's like this part up here at the top is a leather that's reflective this part right here is also the same cut of leather the same cut of leather that goes down and around here right here is the reflective material that I was just talking about you have some it's not mesh it's more like uh, man it's hard to put a, a name on that but it's a very nice like net material I'll say same thing right here some more durable um, material that's right there overall solid looking sneaker solid this is probably one of my favorite v2s brand new man can't believe we're not gonna get these no more it's crazy net mesh 11 and a half comes with tags and all that stuff this is the only part that says Yeezy right there that insole take that thing out or just get something and just cross that out man let me know y'all thoughts man I, I understand but I'm just talking about on the shoe like I'm just talking specifically about this shoe nothing else I'm not talking about like what if this and what if that this happened and this didn't happen what if this and what if that now i'm talking about this sneaker right here can we get this sneaker without any absurd changes in the future or do anybody who wants a pair need to pick them up now that right there um that's reflective material but that's not leather there's no leather right here that's uh that's like a nylon material not sure if y'all can see that but yeah get in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this sneaker the yeezy v2 mauve mauve mauve